Hey guys, welcome back with another video. But first, let's go ahead and say one thing before I start this tier list for uh, Anime Warriors on Roblox, the new anime game with a whole bunch of anime characters. And if you haven't checked this game out, you should check it out. But uh, make sure you guys comment down below, hit the like and subscribe button, and then make sure you guys are also active. You can also join the Discord down below to participate in some giveaways we have going on, and also kind of like chat with everybody everybody's pretty active in my discord and the more members we get and supporters we have that's really what makes it count so uh let's go ahead and get into this tier list so if i have to be real we, we already know what's gonna happen here broly's already going up to s tier broly is just amazing if i have to be real with you broly is straight up amazing um byakia can also go up at s tier as well like if I have to say one thing, uh, Broly is the most OP character in my opinion, just because of the Saiyan Rage, and then the Eraser Cannon move, or whatever it's called, the Planet Destroyer, Star Destroyer move that it has, that he has, like, you just throw those two moves, like, already Saiyan Rage can already wipe everybody that runs towards you, but, um, with the third move, it, it also kind of, like, wipes them as well, depending on what wave you might be, if you're doing overkill and stuff like that, which I've played a lot of so far. Uh, Gara can go down maybe at like an A tier or actually I'm gonna move him down to B tier just because of the fact that Gara like his damage output isn't all that good even when he levels up it's still I mean it, it goes up a little bit more but it's still not the same as you know top two S tiers we have up here so far Gara's pretty good though from what I've seen and Gara isn't like a bad character to get so if you guys get Gara make sure you guys at least have him on your team if you don't have a uh uh, at least five or six star but uh we can go ahead and throw maybe goku down in d tier i'm sorry goku they really did goku wrong in this game goku was done so badly in this game i don't know why i think goku just i mean it is base form goku so i don't know what we expect goku could have done be done a little bit better but i mean it's goku guys uh they'll probably like release another update with another character and goku might be better but uh goku right now is just straight dog shit I'm sorry. He's straight dog water. He's uh, he, he's lucky I didn't put him in the, the dog doo-doo little area right here. We're just going to keep him at D tier just because of some of the damage output he can put. Uh, we're going to throw, like you just saw me do, we're going to throw Vegeta up at B tier as well. The only reason I won't throw him up at A tier is the damage output just like uh, Gara And the fact that most of the moves don't really do too much besides like the last move. His uh, Gallic Gun, which actually does the most damage out of all of his moves. Uh, which isn't a surprise because the other moves are kind of basic explosive wave is good and all but and then the the kind of chase the one chase move I forgot what it was called, but uh, the first move is is pretty good as well But I mean, it's not the best. I honestly think Vegeta is still a B tier though because of Gallic gun uh, Vegeta is someone you might want on your team as well Zoro, we're gonna throw down at C tier. I was maining Zoro for a while when I first got him because I had Broly. I got Broly and Minuto the first time I ever spun, and then I got um, uh, and then I got uh, Zoro. Zoro is pretty good, but he's not like on the same level as Vegeta and uh, Gara. Good, like his moves are very agile, can get you across the map, which is good. Uh, they are really good at crowd control. That's why I'm gonna put them at C. It's because of the the crowd and C with the C and crowd. Uh, I don't know. I just think Zoro could have been a little bit stronger, but Zoro's pretty good overall, though. If you guys do have Zoro, you you could use him. Uh, honestly, I would throw him at B tier, but like, just let me down know down in the description if you want Gara up at A tier and Zoro up at uh, B tier. But Zoro and Gara aren't like gonna go up in my opinion from how I've seen them play. They could go up a little bit more over time if you know some of the updates come out and nerf some of the characters and yeah you gara might have to go up uh luffy i'm sorry this is i might be biased but luffy could either be a or b tier but in my opinion i'm gonna put him at a tier luffy in, in my opinion should be a tier just because of the fact of like the the amount of attacks and the cooldowns like are really good and the damage output is really good as well um He's also good like if you're running with the team as well. So that's what makes Luffy really good is because he can hit a lot of people at once. And then with Gatling gun, the Gatling, the, the pistols that he's hitting with, like it's just an insane amount of damage if you're like, le like level 10 to like 20. So imagine when you level him up to maybe like 80 or 100 or something like that, right? 
Uh, Kakashi can definitely go up at A tier, tier just because of the, the damage output on those moves as well is really, really good. I honestly think Kakashi's a really good character in uh, Anime Warriors. I just don't like using him. He's just not my playstyle. Um, we could probably throw Urahara up at uh, maybe A or S tier. I'm probably going to throw him in A tier in my opinion. He could be S tier. Let me know down in the description why you think he should be S tier. But in my opinion, Urahara should probably be at A tier. Um, he is a really good character. I would say he's on the same with Minato, so that's why I'm probably going to move Minato up at A tier as well because I've noticed when using Broly and Minato, my Minato is around the same level as my Broly, but still, like, w Minato just is really good for mobility and attacks, like, quick attacks on lower leveled enemies or, like, lower wave enemies. But once the waves get in, like, Minato doesn't really do too much anymore. Like, maybe half their health or a quarter if you're up at, like, le round 50 or something like that, wave 50. Depending on what level you have them at, though. Uh, Zabuza can definitely go up at A tier as well, just because of that twin, uh, that kind of twin kind of shark attack or twin dragon, water dragon attack is just amazing. I honestly think he should be at A tier just because of the fact of the damage output on that. And the water prison is really good at, like, catching enemies, which sets it up for combos. So I'm going to keep uh, Zabuza up at A tier. Krillin, I'm sorry, bro. You're going straight to the trash. Uh, Krillin is not good in this game at all. If it to be real with you, Krillin is straight doo-doo. I'm sorry, Krillin, but you are doo-doo. Uh, Axehan Logan or Morgan. Sorry, you guys can't see his face. He's just got a big bulky body, man. He's beefy, but I'm not sus. Anyways, uh, I will probably throw <laughs> Captain, uh, I'd throw Captain Morgan. Probably at D tier. He's not all that good either in this game. I mean... He can put some damage in, but it's just the cooldown and the way he plays. Nappa and Raditz. I'm sorry, y'all, but you both really need to go into the trash can. Where's Raditz at? Did I even throw Raditz in here? Oh, yeah, there he is. Raditz, you, you're both going to shit. You're both trash, in my opinion. I don't like either of those characters from so far, how they played. So I'm keeping them down at uh, the poopy tier. They're going doo-doo. Uh, Piccolo is surprisingly good in this game. Piccolo and Tien are surprisingly good in this game. So I'm going to put Piccolo and Tien up at C tier. They're both really good. Um, special B cannon with Piccolo is pretty good. And then Tien's little tri-beam kind of attack is really amazing. Especially if you level him up. He's actually pretty good. Uh, Usopp or Usopp can definitely go down at D tier. He's not all that good in this game as well. You know my boy Chad has definitely got to go up to C tier. No, I mean, he's got to go up to S tier, y'all. He's Chad. Uh, I can't get beat up by this man. Chad will fuck me up. Chad will beat my ass, bro. So, I'm keeping him at S tier. <laughs> I'm joking. Chad, you can, you're can you D tier as well, Chad. You're lucky I didn't put you in the trash with Raditz and Nappa. Sanji's actually pretty good, too. I'll probably throw Sanji maybe around D or S or C tier. I'll probably keep him at C tier. He he could have been a little bit stronger, but it is kind of like Sanji, you know. He, he kind of gets overlooked sometimes. Uh, Sorry. We all know where this man was going. Do I need to explain this to y'all? Do I need to explain why Yamcha is going here? I don't think so. Um, I'm trying to remember this guy's name. Uh, Let me go check real quick. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let me see real quick. I'm trying to remember his name. Let's see. I think it was um, H uh, Higuma. Yeah. They had him named differently, so it had me messed up. So, yeah, I had to check real quick. But, um, no, it's it's Higuma. All right. He's not that bad. I had to go check real quick, so sorry if, if you guys saw me switch to Discord. Higuma isn't all that bad. But, um, honestly, I mean, I'll probably keep him at D tier. I don't know why I threw him in the Dookie tier. He's, he's okay. Um, I don't think he's the best. Ichigo can probably go up to B tier as well. Ichigo is not that bad. Ichigo is pretty good in this game. Uh, Uryu is definitely a C tier or D tier. Um, range attacks are pretty good, so I'll, I'll keep him there. Naruto and Sasuke. I'm sorry. Maybe Sasuke can go up to C tier. But uh, Naruto and Sasuke were kind of hoed in this game as well. It could have been a little bit better, but... Um, they're just not the best right now. Like, they're not really that good. But, I mean, they are the kid Naruto and kid Sasuke. So, it's okay. Uh, we'll probably see better in future updates. Uh, we'll move up to Mihawk. And I think he's our last. Uh, Mihawk can definitely go up to S tier. Mihawk and Broly are probably the two best characters in the game. Besides, you know, Byakuya. Uh, 
who isn't that bad uh, compared to them, but their damage output is insane. And then I have like the list of all the random ninjas. Uh, you guys can't really see it. That's why I just put them there. We're not even going to honor them. Uh, they can just stay down there, to be honest. <laughs> They're straight dog doo-doo. But, um, I mean, so far, this is my character list. If you guys have any opinions, let me know down below in the comments. And uh, I'll check them out and see what you guys say. And I might, might, I might change my list a little bit later on. But so far, in my opinion, this is what I think is, in my opinion, the character rating list in this game. So... All right, y'all, just make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, and then hit the uh, Discord button. We have a little Discord uh, down in the description down below, and uh, join the Discord and be active. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.